You guys, I feel like it has been so long since I have given a purse closet tour or really just a tour of the purses that I have, especially considering I want to say the last one I feel like I did a year ago and I have since then got a bunch of new purses. I've gotten some backpacks. I truly don't know what I've shown you guys and what I haven't or what is new and what is not, but I know that I've at least added like 10 purses and wallets to my collection, so I figured I would do a collection haul. Um, and I don't know if anybody's going to be interested, but if you are, then I guess keep watching. You guys, first up and potentially one of my favorite sections is my little wallet collection over here. I have sold, I forgot to mention this, a few purses and a few wallets um, a little bit ago to make room for some more. So you're going to see a few wallets that maybe um, are gone, but you're going to see a few new ones. First, starting off with this really cute half-sized Kate Spade wallet. It's black. It's got cute, colorful flowers on it. I got it to match this bag, which you'll see later in the little haul. It is a cute little slot for an ID and I thought it was so cute. You don't want something super big when you have these smaller purses so I thought that would be the perfect size and then I got this really cute orange slice one that is by Coach from TJ Maxx. I think this guy was only $24.99. You could use it as a wristlet like if you're going to the club or I don't know going somewhere where you want to be minimal or you can use it with this bag. I also got the matching bag. Um, a few people on my video were saying lemons because they, they were like cute lemon bag because of like the seeds um, and it says fresh and I get it but I read that it's like a certain type of orange let me know in the comments down below I completely forgot but I thought that was super super stinking cute um and then I got this really cute juicy couture heart wallet oh it's dirty I got it from Marshall's for like $9.99 and I truly got it because I kind of thought it would match this bag I mean it doesn't but it does and it also kind of matches that bag I kind of mix and match a little bit but I think this is so cute and it actually surprisingly has a lot of storage in there so I really like that one. This is definitely not new. Uh, this was in my last haul. I love the gold. I have this to match. Okay, let's see. Eh, maybe not. I kept, I almost sold this with everything else, but I kept it because I figured it would go with the gold Michael Kors. I had two matching purses and I think I sold it because I don't know, like it's just very metallic. It's very... It's very my style back in high school, but not my style now. But I figured I don't have anything to match the gold bag, and it would be cute. This one is a blue one that was also in my last haul. I do have a matching purse, which is that one. Funny story is I got that bag um, at the outlet. One of the Black Fridays a couple of years ago for a really good deal. Did not buy a matching wallet. I don't even know if they had the matching wallet. And then years later at TJ Maxx, this was in the jewelry case when I was working. And I said, uh, coming home with me, absolutely yes. I was like, I think it matches my bag perfectly. Came home and it was a perfect match. Also, case made wallets go for like $230, $222, $218, something like that. Um, and we got it in for like $49.99 plus it was like 20% weekend. So yeah, love a good steal. This one was also in my last haul. It's like a very cute mauve, very old, got it a couple of years ago for Black Friday, but it kind of matches this bag, which is a newer one in my collection. Um, and I just thought it was so cute. It matched another one of my bags, which I unfortunately sold. You're going to find out that I actually sold a lot of bags. Next up is this really cute bubblegum pink wallet. I absolutely love the color of this one. This one I did not get on sale. This was a birthday gift from my mama. Um, I saw it, loved it. It was bubblegum pink. This was way before we knew about the outlet and she got it for me. Then I have my cute glitter wallet, which was also in my last haul. I don't even need to say anything about this one. I just think it speaks for itself. It is so beautiful. And I think it would be cute for like maybe this navy bag that I have that you can't really see too well or something black. I just thought it was super, super stunning. And then this pink one which sadly has gotten rubbed off a little on the end and it's truly my fault because it wouldn't happen in these big bags but this is the one I carried it in and it did not fit I literally squeezed it in every single day and so constant squeezing in and out rubbed off the glitter but I don't plan on getting the uh getting rid of this one anytime soon I don't even care that the glitter is rubbed off on that also with the glitter family have the black version of this that is in the current bag that I'm using now the room is a little bit messy and Scooby has completely messed up the bed, but that is the bag I'm using. You'll see at the end of the video and I've got the black version and then I've got this one, this cute Michael Kors that was my mom's. This is definitely an oldie, but a goodie. It could match that bag. It could match this bag. This is a newer one to my collection. It is Steve Madden. Now hear me out. I've only ever collected Michael Kors and Kate Spade, but the uh, chokehold that Steve Madden has had on me lately is insane. Um, same with Juicy Couture. I just really, like, I, this was $14.99, I want to say, and it could be used as a wristlet, like you can see there, or it could be put in a bag. And I don't know, like something about a $14 wallet just screams, why not? Because I have so many wallet or so many purses rather, 
and I have absolutely no wallets to match. So I'm like, maybe it's high time that I just kind of look for wallets by different brands because I don't want to buy a wallet to match every purse that's Kate Spade. Does that make sense? Because wallets aren't cheap, you know? And this one is the last one and it's definitely not new. This one I got when I got that maroon bag and they are a perfect match. This thing is huge. You can literally fit in your money, your cards, your phone, and probably your car keys and be good to go. Like if you can compare it to my hand size, like it's pretty big. And then we move on to our purses. We have got this really cute orange slice one by Coach. Absolutely in love. I want to say this one was $69.99. Plus I got a discount. I had to get this with a matching wallet. The inside is the typical brown. I think Coach has like other bags with other colors, but a lot of their bags have that like brown shade. And then it has a longer strap, which I don't want to undo right now because I will hate myself when I try to put it back on. And then I've got this one. This is not new. You've seen this in my collection because I've had this for years and I'll never get rid of her. She is hot pink, Kate Spade, cute. She's got like the old, um, the old Kate Spade interior had a lot of the stripes. A lot of my wallets and bags have that and it is just adorable. It is like a Barbie dream. This one, if I have a daughter, will pass on to her and hopefully she will love it as much as I do. If not, I mean, I'll keep it because it's just adorable. And then we have this one. Also in my last video, because I've had this one for a few years, my mom bought it for me as a birthday gift, I want to say, many, many years back. It was actually at Dillard's. It wasn't at an outlet, but I literally saw the, I don't know what you'd call these, like gemstones, like, um, not crystals. I, I don't know. Whatever they're called, it's just stunning. Um, and it was on sale for a good deal. It was like a three or four hundred dollar bag. I could be way off, but I think I got it for like 80 or 90. So super, super stinking adorable. Then we have got this guy. This is so cute. I love, as you can see, I went through a little phase with these kind of chain bags. You can literally carry it like this with the chain, or it comes with a longer strap, which again I don't want to undo. But I thought this pattern was so cute. I'm kind of mad that I didn't get it in the bigger version because I almost did, and something something was like, no, I mean, because I obviously have so many medium satchels and that's the one I almost got it in and that's something I was like no get something different but I kind of regret not not getting the other size um and then this one like I was saying would probably work good with this wallet as you can see more now it's got those navy and blue tones in it and this is like sequiny I don't even I'm horrible with describing things but this is like a rough feel um but I love the hardware on this it is like a gunmetal gray oh my gosh it's not the typical silver it's not gold it just matches with the color of the bag and also a black wallet would look good because it's like black and navy so super stinking cute we have got this bag absolutely adorable I'm gonna say that to every single one of my bags but I love the chain this is silver but it kind of almost looks like the gun metal gray um because it looks a little darker than that but i loved the lilac and as you can see going back to wallets it's not an identical whoops it's not an identical match but i definitely think it could work again this is a bigger wallet so i would probably need something a little bit smaller but just something to note in the future when I'm getting wallets, I can get something that's like a lilac. I thought that one was so cute. This one I did get as a birthday gift from my mom. I want to say last year on my 21st. Um, and this matches that wallet that I showed you in the beginning. Again, has the chain. It's a little bit of a different style than these. As you could see the front, like the hardware, it even says something. Um, it even looks a little bit different. And I don't even know if I'm explaining it well. But as you can see, that's got like the small Kate Spade lettering. That's got the big Kate Spade. That's got the spade at the top and this is also like flat a straight line and this one kind of curves a little super super duper adorable and then we go on to a few of my Michael Kors bags who are identical bags this one I'm just gonna skip ahead was my mama's uh I took it with me because I loved it the chain inside these I don't want to undo it but you can see there's a chain and then it goes to a leather strap and that is one of my favorite favorite features of that and then when I was in Casey with Anthony I saw this it was like the mauve version of that um on sale and I was like yeah I want it it's adorable and he said it'll be a birthday gift so I got it as a birthday gift and then actually next to each other I've got two really cute Steve Madden bags I saw in Burlington I loved everything about it from the little locket to the chain um inside it's plush I love that it's got actually I will open this one up to show you it's got three separate compartments one two three the chain is like a little leather moment but also um has a chain attached to it 
Again, horrible at describing things, but you saw it, so I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, absolutely adorable. It's a $100 bag, and I got it for like $29 or, or $34 or something really good. And then this, as you guys have probably already seen, is the viral Steve Madden bag. Um, I just so happened to get lucky at work one day. So many things I love about this bag. I love the top handle. I love that it has separate compartments, one that zips and then one that snaps. Um, and it has so many cute compartments, which I will get out and show you because I cannot do one handed. And here you have it. You want a regular strap? No problem. You can have a regular strap. You want um, one of these? Again, what do you even call this material? I don't know. Like, you want one of these moments? You can have it. You want an attachable thing to put, like, an anti-back holder or your eye contacts or something like that. Or if you want both, you can have both. Or if you don't want any, you can have it like this. I just think it's so stinking and adorable, and the color is gorgeous. There's literally no question why this bag uh, went viral. Um, also, I bought it for, like, 20, 24 bucks. So, yeah, super good deal. Right along, this one has been in my collection a while. Super cute. It it was on sale at the outlet oh my goodness i want to say for like 40 50 60 bucks it was super cheap originally a couple hundred dollars and actually the story behind this guy is that anthony bought it for my birthday it was supposed to be like 40 to 60 bucks which is a super good steal but the girl rang it up wrong we got like a 200 300 bag for like 20 some bucks and it was a mistake but with the amount of money that i spent at the outlet i'm like girl <laughs> I'll, I'll take the deal. Like, don't worry about it. I'll be coming back and spending full price. Um, and then we've got this one that was also a gift from Anthony. I am living my absolute childhood dream. I love this pattern. I love this little Michael Kors, like, pendulum, not pendulum, like, whatever you'd call that, like a little, a little charm. Um, super cute. Love the top handles. Love that it divides. It's got a little zipper in the middle and two separating pouches. And I got this as a, one of my Valentine's Day gifts, I think. Um, it was a total joke. I was like, I would love that bag, but I wasn't expecting it. And he got it for me. And I'm not going to take these out because they're kind of unimportant. I mean, they're, they've got so much, um, memories to them. They're some of my favorite bags. Um, especially the reason that I got them, but like, they're not the cutest bags that I own, but this one was one of the first ones that my mama got me. So it's definitely been used and abused because she used it as well. Um, for a while, I don't know, like I know this is considered a dome bag. I don't know if you would consider this a dome or like a dome, but for a while, this was my favorite style. So I wore this one out and I wore that one out. It was another gift from my mom for getting good grades or something like that. Um, so super sink and adorable. And we have made it through the first row of wallets and purses to go to the top row and I'm probably not going to take all of these out either because I'm running out of energy because I've got so many. This is one of my bigger Michael Kors. Had it for a while. It's from my mama. It's one of my first ever Kate Spades that I got from my mom. Um, so it is definitely one of my favorites. Never getting rid of. Probably needs to be cleaned up a little. And this was like my viral TikTok bag. Um, I loved it because of the color and it reminded me of the first bag that I ever got. I also loved the hardware that it was silver. Loved the icy blue. I figured it would be so cute for like winter time or something um and I loved the size of that one right along this has got to be one of my favorite bags of all time because of the space that it carries because of the compartments that it has and because of the color I got it um if you get them when you go to the outlet you get a good deal anyways but if you get them off season you especially get a good deal so I got it in the summertime and it was on the clearance wall so I want to say I got 60% off plus an additional 20 plus something else for it being clearance. So it was like a $400 bag, maybe $500 at the time when I got it a couple years ago. And I got it for like... 70 bucks I want to say um and then this one I got from my mama she got for a super good deal and this is one of my medium satchels that I got like I said a couple of Black Fridays ago as you could tell I'm in love with the medium satchel design this one I got for a few birthdays ago on their website the surprise Kate Spade definitely one of my eh, no my all-time favorite bag I just love I think those are tulips regardless they're cute flowers it's lilac it's giving everything spring and summer that I love right along we've got this dome bag this is definitely newer to my collection super super stinking adorable we got these in at TJ Maxx I saw them for a very long time 
they kept going and coming and going and coming. And I was like, you know what? I really want one of those. So for 20%, I got these two and I got this one. Um, and this one is another medium satchel. I actually got it because one of the girls that I worked with had it in her 20% bag. And I was like, if you see another one, please, please let me know. She goes, actually, I went to the outlet and bought a bag so you can have that one. And I said, yes, because it is absolutely adorable. It's the style that I love. It's a color that I love. I got the matching um, Steve Madden wallet to go with it it's just my favorite you say literally every bag is my favorite so you know ignore that um but this is another one of my recent purchases it looks a little dirty so i need to clean it um but anyways i love the mauve color absolutely stunning um the prices went up like everything is going up right now gas and everything so i got this before i got this so when this came in it was for 99 dollars and then when that came in, it was $129. So it was like, what, a $30 increase, which doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but kind of a big deal. But I got it for 20%. That I think I only got for 10%. So it pretty much evened out. Um, and then this one is not new. This is my bubblegum pink bag that I also got from my mom, not for a birthday or anything. She loves to be like, I'll get this for your birthday. And then she gets it for me and gets me another birthday gift <laughs> sometimes. So like that one actually was a birthday gift um, and it stayed that way. But that was one of those that she got months before and ended up getting me something different. <laughs> but that's why I got that one. And then this one, I want to say is also a newer one. I got this at the outlet. Yes, it's kind of like the style of the medium satchel. Um, it's like the Stacy Daisy or something, but it's a little bit different because instead of the handles resting on the outside like most of these, they rest on the inside or they stick straight up. So I put them on the inside. And then we're down to the last two bags. This one is a Michael Kors one that is not new to the collection. I got that at an outlet. Well, Anthony and I, I think, went to St. Louis. Um, it was at the outlet, which was already a good deal, but then it was marked down even more because it was clearance. I want to say I got it for like 60, 70 bucks. This is new to my collection. It is not Michael Kors or Kate Spade. I just love when, um, straps have this kind of dealio where it's like a chain, but the inside is like leather. I also loved that it had this that you can like twist and lift up. I just thought it was so cute. And then this one is not new to my collection, but is always one of my favorites, um, for so many reasons it's glossy it's pink it has a chain and i'm just absolutely obsessed with it um and that is the entire top row of purses last but certainly not least are my two backpacks that i got i have more backpacks um like i have a vera bradley one that's super cute but it's currently um, being taken up by my school stuff but I know these are newer newer to my collection since my last video I got this one for $24.99 still have not changed into it or used it but I loved the like silver hardware the top handle this little cute guy oh my gosh like with a little oh my god it's just so cute it's got a cute front pouch I love the pink color just obsessed 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 is an understatement I love the straps on that and the retail it looks like I still have the sticker since I have not used it yet the retail is 68 bucks and I got it for $24.99 plus my discount. And then this one I saw at Burlington. Um, it's a cute juicy couture. Very like um, Valentine's Day moment I would say. I saw it. I decided not to get it. I was like I really don't need it. Um, and one of my favorite TikTokers had gotten it. And then I saw it again and I didn't get it. And when I saw it the third time, I was like, yep, third time's a charm. I'm sold. Um, it's also super easy to do everything one-handed in this bag. Like, you can zip it easy. You can unzip it easy. It's got really cool, like, space for, I mean, perfume or a wallet, phone. It's got everything that you could ever imagine. And so those are the other two that I have. Last but certainly not least is another bag in my collection that I'm currently using that I packed for my 22nd birthday. Um, I thought it matched my outfit because I wore like a little burnt orange kind of brown moment and I wanted something that was either black or white because um, pink and purple and green yellow I mean nothing else <laughs> would look good not that I own any green or yellow purses but you get the gist um and I packed the inside it has also got that black sparkly wallet that I was talking about um I don't want to take out because I've got everything like perfectly positioned in here and then it has my cosmetic bag um and that's another thing that I completely forgot to show you guys is my little section of cosmetic bags so I've also got some glasses that I reached for I've got Burberry Michael Kors Tiffany and Co I've got another pair down here I've got Kate Spades and everything like that I've got the gold cosmetic pouch and the pink cosmetic uh, pouch that I use um and when I go back I need to get more because these guys retail for like 60 and every time the outlet has a deal on them they're like 19 bucks so next time 
I go and they have those. I'm getting one in every color. And then I got this from um, Truly Beauty that I kind of use as a pouch <laughs> because I think it's super cute and could match a lot of like the pink stuff that I have. You know, you're catching the vibe. But yeah, that is it. That is my cosmetic pouches. That is my wallets. Everything is a little out of whack but that is the haul that is the collection since i have last done a video let me know if this was interesting let me know if you ever want to see a pack my bag not just a haul not just a what's in my bag but a pack my bag and that is it i will see you guys in the next one